Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to ProLine, the longest running sports handicapping show in America. I'm John Cranton, direct from Las Vegas. It is Monday. Going to talk about some NFL games from the weekend, plus look at a baseball game going on Monday. I just want to remind you, Dave Koken off a nice 2-0 sweep in the NFL, the Jets and the Cardinals. He has his baseball game of the month for Monday. It's 25 bucks online. And also, Jim Feist has a high roller release in baseball going tonight. It's 500 bucks online at Vegas Sportsmasters. However, you can get for $49 with a guarantee. Win or the rest of the month is free on Jim. Just call Vegas Sportsmasters at 855-546-9467. That's 855-JIM-WINS for that high roller special. All right, let's take a look at a baseball game going on for Monday, and then we'll take a look at some NFL news and notes. You've got the Indians playing the Red Sox. Great battle here, battle of first place teams in the American League, and it's pretty much a, a pick em game, Boston minus 110 with a total of 10, and the Red Sox are on a sizzling run, pulling away from the Yankees, a 10-1 and run now after that showdown series over the weekend in the Bronx, they took two out of three, probably should have swept two after blowing that game on Friday, so they, you know, with their pitching and defense and the field and the offense beginning to show play exceptionally well. This is the team to beat in the AL East. you got a top 10 team in runs and on base percentage, plus the number three in pitching. Saw another dynamite performance from Chris Sale yesterday. If there's anything that's going against Boston for tonight's game, uh, there's two things. One is the situation, and then the rivalry series against the Yankees. Now they're coming home, and it was the late game on ESPN last night and a 10-inning game, so the situation is not ideal for Boston using some of their best relievers over the weekend against the division rival Yankees. And now they're kind of stuck with a day, Doug Fister, 33-year-old Doug Fister, Journeyman here was certainly way past his prime, an ERA over five. The good news is he's won his last two starts, pitching fairly well, three and two runs. On the other hand, can't ignore his overall numbers for the season. 39 innings pitched, 42 hits and 19 walks. That's a, that's a lot of base runners he has allowed when he faces the AL Central Division, a 7-21 and record. Meanwhile, Cleveland coming into town. Very strong team all around, defending AL champs. They have a winning road record this season. They're dynamite against right-handed starters, an 11-3 run. On base percentage, top seven in baseball. And the pitching is fourth right behind these Boston Red Sox. So it's a fairly even matchup. They're going with Trevor Bauer tonight, a 10-game winner. And he's on one heck of a roll. He's a great strikeout pitcher for the entire season. And these last three starts, one run allowed in each of these three starts, 22 innings pitch total, three walks and 22 strikeouts. He is on one heck of a roll. Beware of one thing with Bauer, though, has not been good away from Cleveland this season. A road record of three and five, ERA of 6.69. Also keep in mind when he pitches on the road. 17, 5, and 4 under the total. And the Indians, when they go out on the road, 31, 15, and 5 under the total with that great pitching. That's how I look at tonight's game because with the Red Sox, with their great defense and strong pitching and a lack of power on offense here at Fenway, would you believe they're 18, 7, and 1 under the total? And you got a high total here for Monday. All right, some NFL observations from the weekend. Quite a few teams that didn't show up in week one, which is common with the coaching staff that just don't care a lot. The Colts, once again, didn't show up, and that was a home game. you got the Bills, Redskins, the Eagles, Giants, and Chiefs. They all didn't show up, so now they're looking for week two to try and put up a, a better performance. Houston Texans, interesting that the Texans in week one, the offense had over 400 yards on offense. That's outstanding. However, only 17 points in the game, and that's something that we saw all of last year with the Texans. When they had Brock Osweiler, they'd march pretty well in the middle of the field with his short, safe dump-off passes. They would run up some significant yards, but they they didn't get any points, settled for field goals, and we're seeing that uh, already in week one of preseason. That's certainly something to keep an eye on the next few weeks with the Texans. Bill O'Brien is developing that reputation as a quarterback killer. That may or may not be the case. He certainly hasn't had very good quarterbacks to deal with. But when you look at the roster for this year, you know, he's putting a lot in the rookie here from Clemson. If they, he continues to play and beyond him, it's really not a, a, an exceptional roster. So he might be a team that gets a lot of offensive yards, but no points. Again, the New England Patriots, 
They laid an egg on defense at home, giving up 31 points to the Jacksonville Jaguars, and that's something to keep an eye on for week two because it's clear what their problem was. Their defense was just awful, 207 yards rushing allowed, 5.6 yards per carry. This was a team that was very strong against the run last season. They gave up a run of 79-yard touchdown run and a pass of 97 yards for a touchdown, and that was over second-year cornerback Cyrus Jones. He was awful last year. As a special teams guy, fumbling the ball didn't do much in the pass coverage either, and now he's getting a a chance to play more in the secondary. And, boy, has he been awful. You have to wonder if this guy is going to be a first-round bust out of Alabama, certainly not playing that well. However, Bill Belichick, when his teams play bad in one particular area in preseason, it doesn't go unnoticed, and he will work on that during the week. He will make adjustments and changes. So that's something to look on for, for week two. They're heading out on the road. At Houston, the team we just mentioned is struggling to score points, and i got to believe there's going to be a lot of changes on the defensive personnel to try and improve the run defense, which was just awful. Finally, the Dallas Cowboys, uh, they went out to the Rams and just looked awful on offense, a 13-10 to loss. And Jim Feist and I talked about this last week. Dallas, with Ezekiel Elliott, was great at running the football last year. However, the backups behind Elliott were not good at all as far as yards per carry. They were terrible. And what do we see without Elliott last week? They had 48 yards rushing against the Rams, 3.0 yards per carry. It would have been worse if quarterback Luke McCown hadn't ran for eight yards on two carries. have to wonder about this Dallas offense without Ezekiel Elliott. They could be in some serious trouble, which, you know, if they can't run the football, they're going to have to pass more, and that's not what they want to do with with this coaching staff. They love balance. They love pounding the rock and taking the pressure off the young quarterbacks. However, if they can't run without Elliott for the first six weeks of the regular season or if they have some problems like we're seeing right now, uh, they might have to pass the ball more, and that's not what they want to do. All right, we'll be back on Tuesday with another edition of ProLine. Dave Coken and Jim Feist are going to join us. If you want free picks, just call the toll-free number, 888-294-1970, or just text GAME. Use your cell phone to text GAME, G-A-M-E, to 25827. You get a free pick every day from our Vegas experts right on your cell phone. And also, Jim Feist has a high roller release in baseball going tonight. 500 bucks online at Vegas Sportsmasters. However, you can get for $49 with a guarantee. Win or the rest of the month is free on Jim. Just call Vegas Sportsmasters at 855-546-9467. That's 855-JIM-WINS for that high roller special. We'll see you back on Tuesday with more ProLine. Good luck with the games. VegasSportsMasters.com.